We're seeing the futures under a lot of pressure after what we saw in Israel over the weekend. What are you expecting for the day ahead? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's going to weigh on the markets today. Um, unfortunately, despite the casualties, the, the human casualties that come from an event like this, the market typically tends to look past it. We saw that when Russia in, invaded the Ukraine, the market traded down initially and then eventually traded up in the weeks uh, following. So we'd expect that same type of reaction here. Um, and, and so that but it will weigh on the markets today. All right. Well, so much uncertainty and certainly tension globally. What is your WEX word of the day? What are you thinking? Word of the day is resilient. I think the consumer is resilient. We saw that in the jobs report on Friday. I think the economy is resilient. And I think earnings season is going to show the resilience of corporations in America today, too. All right. Before we get to earnings season, I want to talk to you about some of the movers this morning. One of them is defense stocks. We saw a number of defense stocks moving 3 to 4 percent higher. Would you be a buyer of defense stocks today? Do you believe there's more upside beyond this initial, what a lot of people will call a knee-jerk reaction? Yeah, I mean, and I, I think that that's normal reaction in this type of um, this type of environment. But I do think there could be opportunity there. Um, it, it, it kind of puts that sector back in focus, puts government spending back in focus. I know we're, we're negotiating the budget still there. So there could be potential opportunity in the near term. All right. On the flip side of that, we're seeing airline stocks under pressure, not only here in the U.S., but globally right now. Um, would you be a buyer on this dip? Because, again, I think a lot of people will call this a knee jerk reaction. Yeah, I, I think this is probably a knee-jerk reaction. The airlines are obviously a very trading-oriented sector, um, so you have to be careful. Um, there's different things that impact it, like oil prices and things like that. So the, the, the airline sector is one that I like to stay away from in general. <laughs> understood, understood. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the current situation when it comes to bond yields all week long. We'll be talking about the 10-year yield possibly moving as high as 5%. What's your view on bonds today? Are you thinking right now that the yields that we're seeing right now, they might be a peak, at least in the near term, because there's a general consensus that we're seeing a move to safety and that could move bond yields? You know, I think it's more than just a move to safety. I think it's um, you know, a reflection of what we saw on Friday in the jobs report. And I think your last guest summed it up really well. I think it's you're just seeing economic data come in better than expected. And so it, it's going to be a higher rates for longer type of environment as we exit this year. And so I think investors are really just adjusting um, for that new uh, thinking rather than the soft landing scenario. But just, just out of curiosity, you don't think as more investors move to bonds that would move the yields lower? Um, I, if they do, I think it's going to be a very short-term trade. 